Hey, how you doing, Ralph? Here, Ralph with Customs. Um, right, bit of a fuck up this week. <clears throat> There's a bit of engineering on the Triumph uh, chop, making some handlebars for it and all that. And then I fucking fucked my car, basically. I've decked it out, smashed the sump, lost the oil, lost the oil pressure subsequently, which is taking the fucking turbo out. Now I need the car, obviously got this place to look after and family and all that shit so you know um i'm gonna call uh, this video nothing ever works out quite as you plan so there's a bit of car work bit of alley tig welding and a bit of uh, normal workshop stuff going on so please bear with normal service will be resumed <laughs> Well, I know, before we dig in, or begin, um, I've got some mail here. I've got, a... I've been waiting for this focus. This is from Gary at the Old Machine Works. Check out his fucking channel. Yes, there you go. And Gary writes, Malfair. So it took me so long to get these in the mail because he fucked about and didn't send them for a week or three or four. And I did the same with his and emailed him and went, look, I know it's been a month or so, but I fucking, I'm on it. I've just, and he's the same. But they finally fucking made it anyway. Um, so thank you so much, Gary. It, this is fucking dead special. It's one of my favorite YouTubers. Gary at the Old Iron Machine Works down in Rio Vista, fucking California, isn't it? So that definitely is going to set pride of place with my other YouTube community stickers on my fucking toolbox. Thank you very much. Lots of love to you, buddy. So that's the wheel done. We've turned that up down. We've dropped this down. Then we've got a little step down to this face. So we're going to duplicate that in the uh, disc carrier now. Because I'm struggling to hold these diameters in my lathe, we're carrying on with a mill. So, fuck me. Right, look. Rotary table, 8 inch. Bigger than it looks in the pictures. What's got me? I'm going to fucking spin you around. Hold on. What's fucking got me? Right, look at me here, dude. Is uh, Aaron, Aaron Engineer and Matter. Matty's workshop and all that. They're fucking building these trolleys with a fucking sky lift to pick shit up. And I'm like, fucking, I'm in my 50s now, like, and I ain't a bit making money of that. Fuck, mate. That's for old men. That's for your Zimmer frame. You know, Mr. Pete's got one. God bless him. Fucking lots of love, Mr. Pete. Fair play. These, them two are younger than me. Right. Until this fucking came. I couldn't pick the cunt up. I didn't know what was in the box as it was delivered, but I couldn't move it. I had to get a forklift. I ain't even shitting. I had to get a fucking forklift. That's going to have to live there, I think. Or, I'm going to have to make a trolley with a lift, but don't tell the others. Yeah, fuck me. There you go. So we're going to make some handlebars for the chopper and man. Yeah. And the first part of that is uh, we need to turn this steel down and make threaded inserts that are going to fit in that inch tube. So, I've done my sketch. I know what I'm doing, ish. Hey, <laughs> let's get to it. Let's give this a face up, and then we'll, we'll come in and centre mark it 
drill it and tap it M12. Let's get that out of the way now. It's quite tough stuff this steel. Which is one of the things I like about it. Clean it up. Quick time to mark. And I'll catch you up with you. When I start tapping it to size. Which you all see me do this. Loads of time. Drill it out. Ten point two. What I've got is a, a set of cobalt drill bits that have got the metric tap drilling sizes from M4 up to M12. So they'll pretty much handle anything with a bit of care. Um, and I only use them when I'm drilling to put thread. So we know that we want it's a 25 long, so we want say 30. I've gone 40 look. I'll take it through into the next one. I'll slow things down a little bit and give that that's counter ball. Ready to take the thread. Now this should tap in lovely. Brand new machine tap. And we'll feed it nice and steady. It goes taking it straight off me. Pulling itself in, spinning in the collet. That's unusual. I'll give that a quick time down then, eh? See what happens. Oh well. Now this collet spinning. We'll get our sorted. <laughs> Fuck me. There you go. We'll give that a bash. Just to seat it better in the more safe pot. Uh, you don't get this on the television. And away we go. Well, that's putting up a bit of it. Bit of a struggle on the threading side. We've we've gone most of the way in with this tap. What I'm probably going to end up doing is uh, I was going to say machining them to size and then finishing the thread off, but the way that they're made, it's not going to work. Let's just have a quick measure. Maybe I'm overestimating how deep I need to go. Twenty-five. Well, I went forty, didn't I? Did I not? Oh. 26, what happened there? Right, that explains it. Yeah, that'll do it, Ralphie. 26. And that's only there on the tap, so. Do that a bit deeper. And then uh, press on. So now we can turn this down to the major diameter which is the same as the tube 25.4 or 25 it needs to be flush with this which is 25.4 one inch and then we'll step it down to 19.9 so it fits inside so let's give this a little clean up pass just get through that black scale there we go Clean that up. There you go. Set that back to normal. Zero DRO with this cut. Now the feet's going backwards. Get the feet right. Foot tight. There you go. Now 
Adventure Blows, Captain. I'll catch up with you when I'm near the other side. So, there, that's the steps done down to size. All I've got to do is part off a piece of this, leaving the, the thick bit 6mm long. I don't know why the camera's not focusing on the job properly. Fucking focus. Right, so what I do is when I when I reach this minor diameter, I set the DRO to incremental and zero. And then every time, if I don't move this tool post, this tool holder, every time I drop this tool in and machine this down, by zero, when I've got incremental on, that's the right smaller diameter. Go to absolute, and that's the outer diameter. Yeah, so if I just touch on that, bear with, sorry, mind the fingers, I'll just touch on that, and we are fucking just about on zero there, we'll be on zero if I could move it that slightly, there we go, and that's it, this outer diameter, yeah, so, I've always got those two zeros, it'll give me the large diameter and the small diameter, and now I can rattle off three or four or five or six and they'll all be the same size. Right and finally I'm set up to part these off. Now I'm guessing this could be the last job for this tip. This parting off tool tip. If you follow me regularly you'll know that Every time I use it, I'm like, it's about fuck this tip is. Let's see how it goes. I'm expecting it to, to die on me, on this job, because this steel's not, not soft stuff. But we'll see. Plenty of oil. Like a bit of low eh? That's what separates us from the animals. And any second now, that'll pop off, sort of. And the tool's still fucking going strong, so there you go. So, I'll make a few more of those. Um, another one for the job. Sorry, I've got that up. Another one for the job, and a couple for stock, while we're at it. Cut two uprights, cleaned them as you've just seen. Um, now I'm going to put a bend in them. If this bend will cooperate. So, not sure how much, but a trial and error is needed. So, I do want to offer it up and uh, Go from there, well I'm currently at 32 degrees, so I'll keep fucking about and join you when I've got a pen. Right, so we've tacked the, the shreddy bosses in that end and we're set up in the milling machine to flute the end of the tube ready to take the handlebars. I was just going to do a gentle, gentle, nice and steady cut with a one inch cut off which will give us the right profile for the tube that uh, we're going to work to it. Nice and steady wins the race on this one. And I'm sure you get the picture. Whee! And here we are, tacked up. I got the drag bars tacked into place on those riser tubes following the forks through it's really cool man I don't think the steering's going to stay still where I show you it's going to flop but you get the picture here we go there you go man awesome so here we go here's the fucking sight that nobody wants to see oops that's not good for the old knucklehead vehicle is it now so here we are, as a result of that, we've got one I, uh, um, I didn't repair earlier, but I am now. We're trying to fucking draw the shit out of it and get some decent weld over the cracks. It was only a weeper, it weren't a gusher like the one that's on it. 
So uh, we're going to tick that up and maybe weld a plate on it to uh, prevent further mishaps. And hopefully we'll be back on the road today. So we've welded that and we've built up this front edge as well to uh, give us a chance of survival down the road, no pun intended. But that's not enough, is it? Because we need to do things a bit fucking more seriously and give it a bit more of a chance. And there you go, boys. She ain't pretty, but she ain't for budging. It's fucking red right on. What I've done. So, I've welded that plate on three sides. It's there for uh, support, not ceiling. So, I've not bothered going along the back here because I'm running out of fucking welding rods, to be honest. And it's a bit of an arduous task, building shitty fucking made in China out of old Coca-Cola cans and shit they find by the side of the road type fucking sumps uh, onto a nice bit of aluminium. But I'm sure that that will save the fucking day. Let's try and, try and get the front angle. Here we go. That's got to do it. The cracks were here. They've been welded up. Ground back. Welded again. Ground back. And plated over. Cheers then. Now she's got to fit it on the beast. The magic smoke of a morning to show you that your turbo is fucking toast. So after a uh, good couple of hours <coughs> fighting with the beast, look, she's out. She's out. I think it's fair to say that we've more than blown a seal. Honest officer. That's frost on my moustache. Thank you very much, ABE. Um, let's try and get it. In it. Here we go. Do you think there might be a bit of play in there, look? It's, uh, those who know turbos will be laughing. I'm not, but there you go. Such is fucking... Such is the life of a turbo. Um, we're full of oil. We're absolutely fucked. Would be my professional diagnostics is Yeah, I think it might be letting a bit of oil by It's black as you're out in there on the outside. Shouldn't be any oil here. This is the exhaust side It should just be driven and clean. You're gonna get a bit of coke from the exhaust and whatnot But it should not be like this fucker and it certainly Should not do that so we're stripping the old turbo down. It's definitely shacked out. But I can't get these bolts off, so we're having to uh, use a bit of heat there to warm the casting up. We have to be careful, because it's cast iron. You don't want to get it too warm. You just play a bit of heat around it. Uh, I know they get fucking off in service, but... We're isolating the east a little bit in an area and we're going to fly a fucking talk to the bolt, so nice and steady, nice and gentle. Hopefully we'll get them out. So we've got them all out apart from the last one, which just wouldn't fucking have it. So we've welded a bit of bar on to the bolt head. We've proper warmed it and tapped it and got it right. Welded a nut on and we've just managed to just crack it open to get the last one out. Now we've got to wait for it all to cool down before we can handle it obviously but um, and we need to source a new bolt for that other than that we're getting in there now I'm hoping we can just buy a cartridge to do a cartridge which is the centre part of the turbo the bit that fucks up and you keep the uh, the manifold and it's cast in there and you use them again so fingers crossed eh? right oh so we're all in bits the good news is that I can't find fault with any, it's scabby like, but you know, 
Na of the manifold and the body and the variable veins time in action that I'm just fucking about with. There you go. I'm getting it all mixed up. I can't find fault at all with that. That's working just as it should. So we've not took that out in the fucking race for destruction, have we? It just needs cleaning a bit better. Um, all the hoses and bits and bobs inlet and that's on the trolley, all cleaned up. And manifold, EGR, <coughs> and the other half of the turbo, the aluminium. The cold side, the air inside of the turbo and the actuator, all cleaned up. Ready to be put back together as soon as we can find a cartridge. I'm struggling to find the right fucking cartridge for it, but we'll get there. So, there we go. That kind of fucking brings me weak. Oh, <coughs> It brings my week crashing down. Um, can't see we're getting that much done. I need to prioritise fixing this automobile. Let's get on that there fucking tinter web and get seeing what price we can fucking source. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to fuck off home on a motorbike later when I've done what I can here. And that's that really. So, a bit of a bumpy one this week. Check out my Triumph engineering video. The Triumph. I'll try and put a link up. Yeah, so check that out, uh, and all I can do is thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate the support. My channel keeps growing and growing, so thanks for all the subs, thanks for all the comments and the likes. Check out my friends in the description below. Have a better week than I fucking had. Fuck me, and lots of love, everyone. Yeah.